Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zachary and today I have a special guest with me today. I always get questions on Instagram and Facebook asking about the fashion program at the Polytechnico di Milano. And today I actually have a fashion designer that's actually in the program itself. And Brian, do you wanna give a little introduction about yourself and yeah, sure. what inspires you? Sure, what inspires me? <laughs> wow. Hi, my name is Brian Bachman. I'm from Chile. I'm 25 years old. And I'm doing the double degree in the Politecnico di Milano in the Master of Design for the Fashion System. Has some uh, differences with the bachelor program, but I will be really happy to answer all of your questions. Myself first. <laughs> also, if you want to follow me, follow me on Instagram at designerboy420. Also on TikTok, please DM me if you have any questions. Also, follow Brian on Instagram. What's your at? I'll put it in the. My at is my name, Brian Bachman, but he will put it around here. And so you can search me. Also, my all my links are in my Instagram uh, description. So you will find me. I hope so. <laughs> DM me. Follow this man, <laughs> DM him, follow him, see his beautiful fashion design. And now I'm gonna leave the floor to Brian so he can explain to you uh, the portfolio that he used to apply to the Polytechnico and also some of the new things that he's doing right now. Okay, welcome to my section. <laughs> uh, so first of all, what you need to know about the portfolio is that you actually don't need to have like a fashion portfolio to apply to the master in design for the fashion systems because it's a multidisciplinary master. So it, I have classmates that are study environment design, interior design, engineering, but also I have a lot of fashion design, uh, fashion student designers uh, that studied on the Politecnico before. So it's actually a mix, uh, mix class, but uh, yeah, that's the first thing you need to know. You don't need to have a fashion project in your portfolio to apply to the Politecnico. Maybe one, I think, one so they can see maybe what you can do with what you have. I only have, in this portfolio, I only have, I think, one fashion project and it's actually a more theory fashion project. So I will show you later. Well, first of all, I put projects that I did in my university in Chile. Uh, an introduction of what I study in Chile, I study design, it's more like service design or integrated design and we learn about methodologies and apply the methodologies into different design projects. So each project is really different, but it has like this um, design methodology approach. So I have uh, projects from data visualization and also uh, information design project, as you can see, uh, for kids and for education. Also, participation strategies in the south of Chile with different communities. Um, also, brand identity projects. Uh, and also, I put a lot of not a lot of, <laughs> but because you have, I think you have a limit of pages that you can uh, show. Uh, so also I put some editorial projects that I knew that maybe will align to the masters or what they're looking for. Um, also, also, not also, I think my final project that I put in the, the portfolio is the because they are going to remember the first thing that they're going to see and the last thing. The in between is more like a filler, so it gives like a vibe of what you are about. So the real the praise that you really want to show should be in the at first and at last. And the last project is was my fashion kind of project that it was a collection of free garments 
and the they seek to generate conversation about the um, the democratization process of childhood. So it was really uh, a non-binary clothing project, but it's uh, because I did it on the pandemic. So and in my and I was in my hometown, so we 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 didn't were allowed to sew things, but. So I only did the sketches, but um, the, because the project was uh, more investigation, uh, r research and theory, theoretical project, I think it, it was okay. And yeah, and that's um, um, in general what my portfolio is about. What I like it is that they have the diff diverse uh, projects, but each project has like the perspective that I also like to apply in fashion. So, so I think that's what I really, I really, really want to show is what my uh, perspective is about about the world of design, not only in fashion. The things that I dislike is the <laughs> is the how do you say the the the, the first page? How do you say the intro page? The intro page, yeah. I mean, it's not that I, disli I dislike it, but I will maybe tune it down a little because I was, I mean, maybe it's tuned down for you, but for me, uh, now it's kind of a little crazy. Maybe, I don't know, make it more minimalist because the important thing is to show the projects. But I think if you see the other pages, it's really minimalistic. Uh, doesn't have a lot of things going around because I really want to show the pictures and the and the and the project and itself. So don't overdo <laughs> with with the graphic because I think they don't care about much about that. If you were applying to a design a graphic design master a graphic design program, I think that will be more important. But it's always also important to have a nice looking portfolio. And also the things I dislike is like some projects I'm really not passionate about anymore and I will put other projects into, that are related towards fashion. Uh, but I, actually I don't dislike it that much. I think it was enough to get in, so <laughs> um, I think it worked. So the project that I already did, because I already did one semester, I'm in my second semester of the first year, and so in the first semester we have this class that it was fashion design studio and in the studio we developed this project that it was about a, a collaboration between um, they call it a sleep brand like it's a brand that was really successful maybe in the 60s or the 70s and now no longer exists or it's not very popular so you have to choose a collaboration for that brand to re make it reborn um, it could be a, a existing fashion brand, a singer, a musician, an event, an artist. It was really nice because it was really free and you can choose um, whatever you want. So I choose, um, first it was a, like a group assignment was to choose the designer. They put a list of designers and, oops, sorry. They put, <laughs> they put a lot of designers and uh, you have to choose which sleeping brand or designer you want to work with as a group between five, six or seven people. And then as a group you investigate, you research a little about this designer, what were the characteristics about, about them, what, what it makes them special, and then you, you make each person makes their own collaboration. So actually it was a really individual work, which I really like because I think it really was like a, a personal project. Uh, so my collaboration, so the, the brand that we chose was Rudy Gunreich. Uh, it was really famous on the 60s and the 70s. He, he uh, created the monokini and um, make popular the Czech red pat, the Czech pattern, and uh, like full body suits with knitwear. So all, all of that uh, design elements I applied in a collaboration with Bjork. Um, 
I really like Bjork as a musician, as an artist, and I find her really inspiring. And I also really like her aesthetics, her point of view, and I think it was really also my point of view, like this uh, exper experimental approach to fashion, also this like um, post-human, non-human uh, thing. So I really like that. And basically we have to make like a capsule collection uh, depending on the collaboration is the amount of sketches that you have to make i made uh, 15 sketches i think let me count yeah 15 <laughs> 15 sketches and we you have to choose one sketch one sketch with the professor and you will develop it in the lab um, the Polytechnic has these um, huge labs they it also it has like three labs uh, with knitwear all no so tailoring so you really you really were able to do whatever you want in there and also near the campus there's a lot of like um, textile print stores so actually you can make all your collection there all so first um going back to the project first you have to go you have to make a prototype and then develop that prototype into a full realized garment make a video a book uh, about the brand the reborn brand and also a photo shoot uh, so it was a really, really complete project to explore, to learn and to apply lots of things. All, all you know, all you know and all you learn, you can apply it on this project. Uh, the materials that I used for these projects um, were uh, a wool that I used in the knitting lab. So I learned how to use the knitting machine and wool and knit a full a bodysuit in merino wool and I make also a dress in in wool but it was like a, a fabric made out of wool it wasn't like a, a f mm, it wasn't the same as you have the the thread of the of the wool it yeah, was a, a fabric already realized uh, and I print over that fabric a pattern that I design and basically that's it. Ah, and also I use uh, wool to crochet a kind of schemas, balaclava. Uh, so yeah, a lot of knitwear into, I really love knitwear uh, and mix it with other things. So uh, that's that, that was the main materials that I used in my project. It's, it's going to be kind of expensive because you have to pay everything yourself. And in Milan materials are fabrics and materials are kind of expensive and comparing to my country so yeah take that in mind <laughs> when you came when you come here and uh, you have to have some money to put into your project and also a special thing about this project is that i <laughs> my roommate that also uh, we were friends uh, like in chile we came here together and uh, we, uh, he used to be the model in Chile for uh, all the projects. Uh, he's not an official model, but I think he should. Uh, so it was really nice to make this project with him. He was the model. I took the measurements of him and do basically the outfit for the garment for him. And uh, we planned a photo shoot. Uh, I booked a studio in Milan. There are plenty of studios in Milan and also uh, in the in the university, in the campus, you're going to have a huge, huge, huge uh, pho photography studio where you can do all your photo shoots and your video. Uh, I booked another studio because the one that was in the in the campus, it was booked already everything was booked also in exam in exams week uh, everything is booked so you have to uh, have that in mind uh, if you want to use the the the, uh, the photography lab I, I think they call 
it's like that i don't remember <laughs> um and yeah and if you have further questions about uh, my portfolio or my experience you can DM me i will be really happy to answer all of your questions okay thank you brian for that now i want to ask you some of the questions that i get in my dms about the fashion program just so people can get an idea um so we're gonna open up some questions that i just get all the time from you guys so one of the first questions that I get from a lot of future fashion students is, is Polytechnico more experimental or is it more technical? Oh, definitely technical. I think the first project that I talked about was experimental in a way because you can do whatever you want. And, but from there, it's, everything is technical. They look up of your prototype. You have to do like three prototypes until they are satisfied uh, so i think it's really technical and really professional experience like it has to be uh, good the so the sewing has to be good everything has to be uh, perfect in point and then the next question that i get all the time is about how much time do you spend on your projects is it something you just do in class and you're out of it or you always are in the studio or always at home all the time <laughs> At first, it's kind of a slow process because you say, okay, it's just one garment. I really don't have to do that much. Uh, I have time. But when it's, when you, then you realize you have to do the book, you have to print the book, you have to take the photos, the, the pictures, you have to film the video. Um, you have to finish the garment actually. And for me, knitting takes a lot of time. Um, to learn how to use the machine so I think the last two months I was in the lab and uh, almost every day that I, I could. Um, the next question that we have is did you have any background in sewing before you came to the Polytechnico? Do you have to have experience with sewing before you come into this program? Um, I didn't have experience, I am um, self that you're sewing stuff? No, self stuff, duck, duck, self teach. You self, self. What is it in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> self is with D. Self taught. Self taught. Taught. Okay. Taught. I forgot the pronunciation. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the language barrier. <laughs> taught. Yeah, I'm self taught, and so I watch videos on YouTube how to sew, but I was um really. Uh, an expert about it so but i i really really recommend to learn how to sew before coming here how to do patterns uh, because um, they are not going to use really much time to to teach you about it they expect you to do the project and so i mean of course they are um helpful if you really are not really good and they understand that if you don't came from a background from fashion uh, of course they are not going to expect expect the perfect perfect <laughs> uh, um, i don't know sewing thing but um yeah it's really useful to learn or know a, a little about it um and yeah i always learn from youtube so it, so you can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then the last question that I get all the time is, and this is a question I get for industrial design too. Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you think do you think fashion design school is worth it? Like so far with your experience. Whoa. Well, I think so. It's worth it. Like every job you search, they they ask you about your no i for, sorry again <laughs> it's okay <laughs> <laughs> i think it really it's worth that because the fashion industry they always going to ask about your degree and a lot of us for a master degree here like i think mm, the undergraduate degree is not enough um, to find a job maybe here I all the jobs I see in LinkedIn 
are they they ask for masters in blah 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 but also background in fashion but i think if you have the master it will really help you and also if you are from different countries and you have different experience in different countries also i think that's helpful i haven't found a job yet because i don't have time <laughs> to to look for a job um, but that's a good thing about the program is that you have an internship so you have actually a semester that you can do an internship and well my friend said that it's not hard to find one so i hope if that's true <laughs> i will make you i will i will keep you in touch about that topic <laughs> perfect yeah. perfect and um i guess that's all the questions that we have Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It shows that you guys like the videos that I put out. I really try to make things that help people, especially designers who are coming to Milan. Please, please follow Brian on his Instagram, see his wonderful portfolio and all of his different projects that he's done. And also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok so you can see the different projects that I'm working on. Oh, I don't have a TikTok. You should have a TikTok. <laughs> well, until next time, maybe you'll see us with a collab. Oh, yeah. yeah maybe yes, one surprise, time. Surprise, surprise. Okay. <laughs> maybe many times. We'll see. The next big fashion brand of New York. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao. See you.